I'd like to introduce Brian Zing. Yes. I know it's a very early, uh, some people may be still half sleep, but uh, I like the fact uh, we can get it over after 9 o'clock and everybody can go back to normal life. Uh, today I'm here, uh, it's my honor, I mean, I guess, uh, being invited uh, to talk about uh, what's new for me. Before I jump into the new stuff, i like to elaborate a little bit my history so you guys will understand who I am, why the hell I need to listen to this guy. <laughs> um, the machine is a half sleep. Uh oh. Okay, uh, I'm going to elaborate a little history of Brian Zeng. Um, now, uh, all of you be, be a little patient uh, because I, when I talk, I don't really speak English. I speak the language called Chinglish. It's a Chinese and English combined. So uh, that's a new, a new term of language I created. So be, be patient and I do carry a thick Chinese accent. So guys, if you have any question, just interrupt me. Uh, feel free to interrupt me if I, uh, you guys uh, cannot understand. Um, I call myself uh, inventor and entrepreneur at the same time. I think I need a you, you need it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You're good. Am I? Okay, so you 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 can control that. Yeah, if you you want me to, I can. Sure. Not. All right, all right. <laughs> you know what, uh, Chavez? I I think I got. I'm not as pretty as Vanna White. Yeah, I got someone to help. <laughs> all right. It must be must be the uh, the the the, the calm around. <laughs> uh, First of all, I own uh, almost 200 U.S. utility patents, along with some uh, design patents. Uh, if you guys are living in uh, Southern California long enough, you know the automotive sunshade. Uh, back to the late 80, early 90, and then until even today, they still sell this item. Costco, and this is the item. It's an automotive sunshade, and you can fold like this. And storage. I think um, I believe some of the some of you guys own one set of these, or your family member own one set of these. Uh, I saw if I if I calcul my calculation is correct. Uh, I think we sold almost over a billion pieces throughout the 25 years. Actually, almost 30 years now. Uh, last time I count is 900 some million pieces. Now, after after this year, I think the quantity of this item being sold in the U.S. and worldwide over, uh, based on my knowledge, it's over one billion pieces. Wow. Uh, I, I can't even comprehend how many fabrics I used. I think I, I used more, more fabric than Mattel Bobby. <laughs> well, Mattel Bobby, they claim they are the number one fabric user than any fashion company. So that's what, uh, why I mentioned Mattel, because I, I consult in Mattel, and Mattel is also a company uh, in my industry, which is later on I will tell you why it's in my industry. So, uh, okay, that's uh, all this product is all uh, either product I form a company and I, I, sold, I sold the product. This is the automotive uh, sunshade. Uh, <coughs> Why, why, why do you guys have, uh, uh, why you will create this product, especially Philips will ask me where, where, where this idea came from. 
I was a student in the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena and acclaimed the major uh, industrial design. Uh, I went there for master's degree and they put me to a uh, first uh, most uh, junior class because they, they assume I don't know better in the machinery. So you, you need to go back take one class for the uh, workshop in case you break something and then you get yourself injured. So okay, I will take that class and as a fresh uh, student. Sure enough, they're not wrong. I broke my chainsaw. When I was cutting my wood, cutting my model, the chainsaw blade broke. And then I turned the old one to get the new one. Guess what? The chainsaw blade, uh, uh, the, the blade of the chainsaw is a huge loop with all the teeth. It's very painful to uh, bend them into the, uh, the garbage can. But then when I try to clean the new one, they throw me a pizza box. Exactly like a Costco pizza box. Inside is a chainsaw blade, but they twist from a big loop into a three tiny little loop, fit into a pizza box. That is the idea I came from. For folding up, take a look. It's a one loop, although I modified, I make two loops together. One loop, you can go into a three small loops. That's where the idea came from. And later on, and I, uh, I, I sold the company for automotive industry because maximum this industry is $35 million industry uh, within the interior of automotive, whether it's a cup holder, whether it's a garbage bag, behind your back seat or it will be the seat cushion before you guys know there's all the automotive accessory total together I think maybe maximum 50 million dollar in the shape in the uh, shape area is a 35 million dollar or less so there's no way for me to grow and then I have a nine or I got I, <laughs> I have a nine lawsuit uh, the, the first years I start my business, I filed lawsuit to sue the infringement. So I, w I was a frequent visitor to the building of federal courts because all the uh, intellectual property lawsuit is uh, categorized, uh, categorized in the federal court. Uh, so I was a frequent visitor, even the security guard. Uh, recognize me. At that time, they don't have a scanner, they don't have a, uh, a security as a tight as no nowadays. Uh, so therefore, uh, it's too much competition and too small a industry for me to swim with the sharks. So I decided to sell the, uh, the business, use the same technology, guys, same technology to build the uh, play hub, children's play tent. Before, it's a one loop of pencil uh, blades. I turned into two loops uh, as a product. Now, I turn this four loops. Same technology, same fabric. All you need to do is flatten it. Oh, now some embarrassing. I think I didn't maybe flat enough. So that's the way to uh, same way to fold the product. What I try to deliver uh, to to all to all of you is telling you guys use the most simple idea to launch your business to launch your idea, make your first million first. After first million, the second million is a lot more easier because you already have experience, you already have the know-how, you already kiss a lot of frogs. <laughs> to get your prince, uh, princess. So, although your princess is only near one million, around one million, guess what? 
The second princess may be bigger, beautiful, more beautiful, more whatever. Uh, so that's the second princess. At the same time, I find out a lot of knockoff. This is a knockoff. This is a knockoff. This is a knockoff. This is a secondary item. I pack them to sell them. This is a knockoff. So how do you deal with knockoff? Yes, you got patterns. You, I, I have a, about this twist and fold technology. I have almost, almost hundred different patterns because of my lawyer driving a broken Honda. I was a first customer of him. Now he's driving Rolls Royce with chauffeur. <laughs> I look at that uh, Rolls Royce and said, "This is my Rolls Royce, man. I sh I should own them." He is a good salesman. He showed me how to use a different pattern, cover different things. Just a little item like that. He's telling me how to cover, open the fabrics, and how to make the angle, and how to file any other additional. So go to check on Brian uh, using it in the uh, USPTO. As long as you type my name, there is a hundred different uh, patterns showed up in the website. Uh, but however, it's help, very helpful in a way. Uh, still, those people coming to knock off. So I had to sue them. Uh, I bring them to my office and then settle with the settlement. Why am I so easy to get settlement from now on? Because first of all, they sold to Walmart, they sold to QVC. The lawsuit is very important. You have to sue them at the same time, put their customer under your lawsuit. They will settle faster than any uh, a, a time frame you can imagine because their Walmart buys a piss. God damn it, I bought, you, bought the item from you. you. You already put me in lawsuit. Federal court, federal court uh, a, a, a litigation. You better settle quickly, otherwise I have to stop buying from you. That signal tells people so willing to come over to, to the settlement. This is, this is the item. This is the deluxe version. Uh, same thing, I think some of you guys own this item too. Folding the same way. No new tricks. Same material, fabric. Piece of fabric with one, or this is one loop, or this is, this is eight loops. So anything you see the loop with the fabric, if you don't see my license, uh, my pattern number report to me, I'll give you a hundred dollars. <laughs> 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 and now, even this guy, this guy actually is very close by uh, in Costa Mesa, called Pro Mart. The owner knock, knock off the product, so I had to bring them to my office. It's, it's, it's a carrying bag, same, same time, you can fold the tube. Uh, actually, this piece is selling in Costco. Uh, um, and also by one guy called Michael uh, Michael Kelly. He been sued by knocking my patent off, so he came over to do the settlement. Then his son said, "My father is a criminal. Let me be a decent guy. May I get a license, decent license from you to do the." the little pet stuff, because you are doing for children. I want to do exactly whatever you're doing. I redu I, I'm going to reduce the size and, and make it for pet. So actually, with such a decent uh, approach, I actually uh, went to uh, more than uh, I, I, uh, uh, being a licensed store. I designed for him, I got my pattern maker, make almost 200 different variations of pattern support him, so he can uh, mail and ship the prototype to China, my factory, to make to launch product for him. So now this guy is a thirty-five million dollar business. Um, now I'll talk about all these. This guy is a uh, I I don't deal with uh, hunting stuff, but he approached me. Uh, 
is selling to Walmart and other specialty. So this, this is the sports pet, the, the guy doing this. I even use for my cat, Lily. Uh, she is using to put our cat there to go see the vet. And this is Spin uh, Master bought the company Swimway. This is launched by Swimway. David, Av David Avis is the owner of the company. And we settled the lawsuit and then his, this become this item actually there is a 12 different variation size and modification. So the whole line is 12 different items massively occupied eight feet with uh, gondolas uh, in the marketplace of Target and Walmart every summer. Why am I talking about this? That's what one of the product uh, line uh, I, I've been dealing with uh, for my last almost 30 years history. Now this is the item we're selling to Walmart, uh, brick and mortar. You see how many variations. And this is a play hut and all this uh, hammocker shremmer, if you guys remember that. Uh, mail order company, I sold many of them because the price point is higher. They like to sell to grandma, grandpa, buy those things for uh, their grandchildren. And this is Walmart and, and, and Target and Toys R Us, unfortunately. Toys R Us went bankrupt. Uh, and this is uh, Amazon, virtual retailer. Uh, iconic, everything you see this, is you, you should, you, from now on you guys should think about that little guy, Brian Zing. <laughs> <laughs> now what, 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 what's going on? After all this uh, success, and also I, uh, I met several people in the uh, organization of uh, Inventor forum, inventor this, inventor group of that. Most of people, they are running like a circle. Invention, invent, uh, uh, in, a design concept, awesome. Very intelligent. Guess what? They're running like a circle. They don't know what, where and when and how to break through to let their product to meet the reality, the real business world. And I also see some entrepreneur running to situation because the marketplace changed. Their previous success no longer works. And also some people want to start new entrepreneur, uh, new entrepreneurship about uh, all about their invention, about their business, but they lack of their own niche, lack of their own uh, innovative. Uh, a, a, a lack of the innovation about how to make the difference uh, compared with the other. So that's why I came, all, I, I came up a uh, program. Next, please. It's teaching people how to do A to Z, from idea to your multi-million dollars. I'm offering shortcut, I'm offering a uh, resource. For example, oh, shall I file provisional pattern? Oh, shall I uh, 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 do pattern search? There's a true way to answer this question. Uh, if I were you, if I'm dealing with over thousand dollars to do a pattern search, my encouragement to you guys, don't file pattern research. Don't look research. Just do whatever you can do your own search. Find out whether your pattern has enough novelty or not, and then direct go to file pattern. The reason being, you will get a office section, you will get rejection, you will get challenge, you will get questions from examiner. Who the hell pay for the examiner? Your test dollar. Eventually, the examiner will do the pattern search for his own sake, the same kind benefit you. 
Why the hell you need to spend thousands of dollars to do your own pattern search? You don't have to. If it's a thousand dollars or above for pattern search. I thought some of, I, I believe some of them already filed patent, already spent thousands of dollars to uh, patent search. Stop now! Because you guys have to understand every examiner in USPDO, they are lawyers. They also hire people to do patent search for their for his sake, for his job, for his duty or obligation to challenge your pet. Now that's, uh, some of the lawyers doesn't want to hear that because they lost the opportunity to make a thousand dollars from you. And then, talk about provisional pattern and real pattern. If money is cheap enough, if your idea have if you, for one direction your idea A, B, C, D, E, then file provisional, cover, cover your butt. And then choose one or two extremely unique features, file your own pattern. Let the provisional pattern sit, sit there and establish your pattern date. Your pattern date is extremely important because that you can use, utilize that to stop your okay. Oh, no, 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 good. No, no, no. I, I, it's okay. Go ahead and wrap it up. I will. I will. I will. I will. I know. I, I elaborate too long. <laughs> I got carried away. <laughs> so this is a sec, uh, seven weeks. Uh, but later on, I can answer questions. You guys, and and and, and this is the seven week system. After seven weeks, I have the eight week program as a bonus to everybody finish seven seven weeks program the bonus is all the shortcuts all the resources you guys can get online and also go through what I have to what I have been through not to make a mistake that's all this eighth week next please um, that's a little a small program and then you can get quick uh, uh, quick cash the reason being when you launch your idea you can be hungry inventor. You need to make quick money to support your lifestyle at the same time, hit the big box retailer and, and make a million dollars. Make 100K first, would you mind? <laughs> all right, next. This is all the program, tell you how to. And then I also offer online, co online like a personal coaching. So later on, we can talk about this. This is all the class. Go to on. Uh, idea to million.com you will see all these and this is a new club we form I formed and then uh, later on I even have my president right uh, Ryan to talk about how his feedback because I'm coaching him at the same time how to get a shortcut most importantly guys you guys need a shortcut because life's too short and meanwhile uh, outside the business changing so fast shortcuts most important uh, thank you. I think uh, I, I should be uh, next. Yes. Uh, so go on the these two. Uh, no, these two. Uh, thank you. Go on these two uh, website. You guys can see. Uh, you guys can go review by yourself. And that's about Macross. Macross have two directions. One is my personal coaching. Another is online. Uh, online influencers, e-commerce. Later on, we can talk about. It for the next, uh, uh, next uh, period of time, but to today, I think that's all I'm uh, here to let people know. Even I, people, uh, Philip, uh, uh, Philip said, oh, you must be a million, billionaire. Yes, e even I am, but still, I still want to launch something new as a startup. Here I am. Thank you. Brian, one of the things that we, we normally ask is, is we break into like little uh, tables and think about what it is that you're uh, need help with. Is there anything that you would like to, them to think about and then we'll come back and open it up to questions? Uh, yes, I would say I'm here to help because um, I do feel like any of my experience can be helpful to any startup, whether uh, no matter gender, no matter age, I like help. 
So, so this is a little different presentation we're normally used to. So still let's break into five minute uh, table toppers. Think about what is things most pressing for questions and then we'll open up to questions and answers and, and that sort of stuff with, uh, with Brian here in a second. So with that, break into uh, tables and think about what questions you have that you might want to ask for Brian and we'll open it up. Excellent. So who would like to start us off with any questions, comments? So as, as just to start us off, I was talking to Brian, and it's the presentation is a little bit different than we normally see, and it comes across as a pitch for an existing product. And so I'd like to frame it as, does, does Brian's legacy and his story and how he came to business and then launching this new product, how does, how is it entrepreneurs, how do you think about that? Is that, what would you suggest to make that, uh, that, that uh, message clearer, better, this presentation here better? Nope. No, you're not gonna... Silence. No, no question. Oh, well. Come on, absolutely. I'm sorry, Brian. I mean, we've talked and I like you. This was not the place to do this kind of pitch. This is a sales pitch. We don't do sales pitches here. Um, doing a background on your idea and imparting that information is one thing, but when you cross it over into come and buy my, my courseware, that's not what this group is about. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sid. All righty. Uh, yes. So, I thought the presentation was extremely inspirational. And uh, I just had a question for you because this product is very interesting, the way it, it is very compact and how you are able to make it small quickly. And when you were going to market and going to distribution, if I'm walking down the Costco aisle and I see that standing there, I don't know that it gets into this little compact shape. So I would like to know how you took that idea and communicated that to your your consumer so that people understood what this was. Uh, Philip, I think there's a microphone under your butt. Yes. Yeah, uh, I have an idea. You can use that. Uh, first of all, I apologize if I uh, pass the idea uh, to you all uh, about selling. No, I'm not selling this. This is a new product I launched based on my experience. If I upset anybody, I apologize. This is not my intention. Thank you for mentioning this, being honest. I, I think uh, I, I appreciate you being uh, a straightforward. I'm not selling this. This just launched. Uh, first per person is my student, Ryan, purchased the seven weeks uh, program. Uh, none of you guys are obligated to buy. No, no one needs to be buying this. I would love to hear your feedback. If this program actually needed uh, from young entrepreneur all from startup point of view. I'm not selling here. Here, here, I, 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 I did, I, I talked to Ch uh, uh, Tristan even. This is not sales pitch. If I cross over, let you guys feel like I'm selling something, I apologize. This is not my intention. Uh, to answer uh, your question, uh, let me tell you how I launched this program for the Automotive shades. The first buyer I have is FECO. I don't know if you guys remember FECO. It's a membership, uh, nine stores in Southern California. And I went to see the buyer, the buyer called Butch Wasakowski. He said, Brian, I don't think you can sell these things. It's a great item. No one knows how to fold them. No one knows how the feature and benefit. So do me a favor, go home, make your packaging from black and white to color, and second, make a video. Then buy the video for my store, which has a VCR uh, built in together. I will set that for you, and you go plug in uh, nine different uh, locations for your video, and let's run. That will be wonderful. So obviously he was right. And we plug in the VCR, boom. We sold more than uh, 16 containers in less two months uh, to nine stores. 
it was a huge success. And later on, I got a phone call from a buyer called Colin, uh, Colin Crimo from Price Club. At the time, they called Price Company, Price Club. He, I pick up the phone, it, this is uh, Brian using, I say, speaking. Do you know who I am? I say, no, I'm Colin Crimo calling from Price Company. I say, who the hell is, what the hell is a Price Company? I don't know, Price Company owned Price Club at the time. So I pick up the phone and he said, come to visit me, I'm in San Diego, I am, do you hear about, did you, did you hear about Price Club? I said, yes, I heard about Price Club. Price Company own Price Club. My, I almost fell down from my chair. I said, wow, that's a big, big store. So I went there and we do the same thing. Uh, we set up 250 stores nationwide for all the VCR and tape combined and then show, show people how to fold this how to set up. So that's why you need a demo. And later on, when I launched the children product, I don't have the luxury to set up uh, 5,000 stores, 5 VCR in, uh, in Walmart. What I did is I went to QVC, let QVC do the TV program and TV sales and folding uh, opening so therefore, QVC has done a wonderful job for me to promote this live folding uh, pop-up feature. Thank you. So Brian, I have a question. One of the, one of the things that always strikes me about uh, products or informational products where, you know, idea to millions. You know, I go on to YouTube in the morning and I, I, I can be pummeled with YouTube's about make me make me a millionaire. So, how do you communicate that you're not just like everybody else, pitching a dream where you know that you, people you know you get you get something out of what you're doing? How do you communicate that? Because you know, idea to millions just sounds like a dream. Well, thank you for uh, for the question. I think it's a great question. It's a question I don't even have answer. That's why I'm here to ask people how to, how to cross uh, to the audience or to the general public with my success and also with my new launch. How can they marry together? How can uh, people will even uh, come to uh, take, look, take look at me twice? That I still, I'm learning. I'm here to ask for questions. Again, I apologize if I did not have any proper information cross it's my fault, but Ryan, you can can you yeah. answer that because you're the one actually as an inventor. So go ahead. Yeah, one. Yeah, I kind of met him at Inventors Forum where he came to to speak one day, and um, he invited. He started the seminar series and free seminar series. So me and a few of the guys from Inventors Forum went, and he just started talking about all the things we could do to to get going, and you know, not charging us anything. And I'm like, why is he giving away like all of his you know, information from his program for, for free, like, and he was basically just, he was telling us how to get started. Now, I didn't realize that there's a lot more to it, and basically what he's telling us is just the tip of the iceberg, but he, if he, you know, with, he was really, I mean, I could tell he was really trying to help. I'm very skeptical of a lot of these inventors programs out there. Anyone that's an inventor knows about all the stuff that's advertised on TV, and, um, and we could tell from what Brian was giving us, completely novel information. I've been through like five programs, um, and his stuff is completely up to date, stuff I had never heard of before. And he's very open about talking about all the things that we could do right off the bat. So I knew right away that he really had our best interest at heart, and that's why I you know, kind of latched on to him and, and working with him. Thank you for the uh, support and uh, to explain what's going on. Oh, with that, we got some, some hands coming up. Broke the ice. <laughs> yeah, great presentation. I owned or own seven of the eight things that you have on your uh, thing. So <laughs> next, next, I don't know whether they were knockoff or original, so next uh, purchase, I'm on a big discount. Um, regarding your program, um, being honestly, I saw everything as being paid. And you being such a um, successful businessman, and obviously you made a uh, lot of money, I would be actually interested if I see a bunch of those, the initial ones, as freebies, 
that uh, you know, it really shows that you want to help people. And as they get along, and if they're really interested and it helps them, they can get into the more expensive ones. Mm -hmm. Get into like $50, yeah, then you're like hooking them for $100 and hooking them. It just didn't give me the right um, idea. I know you have the intention and you're a businessman, but I would take a whole bunch of those and make it free. I appreciate that suggestion. Uh, if I have time, I will show you uh, idea2million.com. This one I can get on the web. I gave, I gave a free download how I make the money, how I deal with uh, the internet nowadays, all free. Uh, so going on to idea 2 million and I will show you there's a lot of free download. No cost. Basically uh, related to the, uh, the program I, I'm building. But I, I still have a problem. Uh, I know how to demonstrate this with the video or with, with QVC, but I don't know how to demonstrate uh, why I'm so different than the other and people who would like to listen to me or like to go through idea to million because a huge program I built, I, I, I need to hear feedback today. My question first, I guess. <laughs> Kevin. Uh, thank you. Th thank you for sharing your story. I'm just really amazed and curious about your mindset and how you think about things. Because like for me, like uh, the thing stopping me doing things is my fear. So I'm just uh, wondering, have you ever had a fear like before you launch your product? And like today, I'm also Chinese. Like when I give a public speaking, I always have this fear of like uh, my English in the back of my head. Do you have that? That's my question. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Yes, I living in fear every day. Uh, when I in the school, uh, before I even get, get my, uh, prior I'm getting my degree, I already have this idea. How the hell I can launch? I have no money, and I'm living in very much uh, life support from uh, some family. Actually, I was living in the, uh, uh, I was living in the, one of American family uh, when I was uh, learning my English in Spokane, Washington. Father Alan Hale was a retired U.S. Air Force Colonel. They have six boys. I became the seventh boys in the family. All my faulty language, I blame them because I learned from them. Um, <laughs> uh, when you have no money, you really have a huge fear. So therefore, I was lucky to have additional scholarship from the company called Mary Sun Roof. Alumni graduate from my school, form a company building sunroof for every American sports car. Whether it's Corvette, whether it's uh, any other vehicle at the time. They form a factory cross street from GM or Ford, from their assembly line. Build the railroad, drag the ship, the vehicle, being built to their workshop cut the sunroof, and then ship back. So that's how American Sunroof, as a company, they are billion dollar business, and he has additional $2,000 every year, every term, uh, support uh, the student, half the, uh, uh, have a, is a, a three point, Ryan? whatever. Uh, so, so we just got a little bit more time for another couple of comments, so I wanna get the more comments in, so if we can keep your, you know, Response short Thank from you. him. Appreciate uh, I, it. Thanks, I Brian. often like to carry away. Uh, I know that's yeah, why you know, your problem, enthusiasm is wonderful, but yes, we've only got to answer, only got a short amount of time. The, to answer the question, yes, I, I do have fear. Everybody will have fear. Whether you're successful or fail, I still have fear. I may lose a multi multi million dollar. I did lose eleven million dollars to Toys R Us when they filed bankruptcy last year. So that is a huge fear. It's a detrimental impact to my business. Thank you, yes. Thank you, Brad. Back here with Marilyn. Okay. Hi, Brian. Yeah, Miriam. it's okay. Miriam. All right, I have a couple comments because I know we're um, short on time. I hopped on your website, I think brianzang.com. Just a little tip, a couple of the links redirect to like sponsored pages, I think to your products. Um, that's something that deviates the 
viewer off the screen, so possibly consider fixing that. Um, and then also, it seems like you're the entrepreneur that has gained a lot of experience and is, has already created a brand, Idea to Millions. I think it's just a suggestion is what you clearly have presented today, um, what you want to do, I think, is to portray your story on a platform where other people can understand a little more. Having testimonials, um, like live testimonials, whether it's on your website, I think would be very helpful. And also get your message across a little more about what you do, because I, I, I think that in the art of the pitch, in order to master it, it comes with how you provide value. And I think what better way to portray that by having somebody who has actually witnessed your program actually say it themselves. And then that may you know, cross over to millions of more people. Um, and then also the digital cash. I was taking a look at some of your specs on um, the website for the subscription for your program. $997 for a program is a little expensive. There are other influencers out there like Brendan Burchard. He from something called the High Performance Academy. He charges less than 200 bucks for a lifetime course um, online. So if you're targeting different demographics, me being like young entrepreneurs representing the teen slash 20, early 20 year old audience, um, I would suggest knocking it down. Awesome, cool? awesome suggestion. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, last comment. Hi, Brian. So just to answer your question, you want to know how to, um, I guess, go out there as far as, you know, be more well-known, be more well-rounded with entrepreneurs. I would say, um, do like partnerships with different entrepreneurs on YouTube as well as online. Um, one well-known entrepreneur that I know of is David Meltzer. You're able to go on his podcast, talk to him. Um, another one... It's a lot of them, but we'll talk afterwards. But just it's a lot of, of people you can like, you know, partner with, talk to them, have an interview with, so people can get your know about you and get your name out there for your brand. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. We talk later on. Thank you. I guess we. we Tristan, you had some announcements we needed to. So first, thank you, Brian. That's a little bit different. But thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.